Okay, we're back. I'm sorry about that. The camera just stopped. Don't know why, but we're good. And, uh, and what a cliffhanger it was because I uh, left you off with just one more stitch to go. So here we are. We did our front post and now we're going to do our back post, double crochet, and around, and around. Now, that was our last one on that round. So, um, just want to double check our stitch count. I'm going to just, again, pull that so it doesn't pull. And I'm going to count our stitches just to be sure. We got two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, and 33, 34. Beautiful. There would have been a break in the pattern. Um, it, it'll stand out the further you go. If you make a mistake, it'll most likely um, jump out at you. Okay, so now um, we're at the start of a new round. We're not going to chain anything again, you know, to make up for the height. We're just going around really in a spiral. Um, so basically what we've been doing is what we continue to do. We just did a back post and now we're going to do a front post. Like I said though, this um, tends to be a little bit tougher now that we've gotten away from our foundation chain. The, um, the holes uh, tend to get a little bit smaller so it might be a little bit trickier to see them. It, it's really not a big deal though. You'll get used to it. Um, I just thought I'd mention that. So um, we did our back post and then we're going to do our front post. Go in through the hole and over and double crochet. back post. Front post. Can you see how it's standing out at you? The front post is more forward and the back post is in relief. It's, it's back there in terms of being able to identify where you are um, and what you're looking at. Um, and of course the further you go, the more of the pattern develops and it becomes more obvious. Um, so in case you get lost, you're wondering, well, what, what did I do? Was the, what am I supposed to do now, front or back? You can, you can kind of start to see the front is um, really standing out and the back is really st standing back. See how he's kind of back there, the back post? He's back here. And over. Next one, front post. And this is all there really is to it. It's just a matter of repeating so that you end up with a pattern. See again the holes. You see those two strands with that strand, and you're going in this hole here underneath all of them. Underneath the three strands. Front. Oops. I got a little too much tension here. I gotta pull. Excuse me one second. I'm getting 
Just a little bit of a twist going on here with my yarn. It's the way I pulled from the ball. Not a big deal. Okay, yarn over. Now what are we doing? We're doing a back one next because we just did our front one. See if you pull it up, pull up your fabric. There's all these front ones in a row and a column. And that's what this pattern is really about. This, these columns that form from all these posts. See, the yarn wants to come forward again. This is the angle of the stitch. So just hold it with your thumb, keep it in back, make sure your hook is in front of the yarn, your working yarn. There we go. Post. Yarn over. Front post. Double crochet. What are we doing now? Back post. See the front post. Go right in. Back post next. I think you get the idea. Um, I'm not going to film me making the whole cowl. Um, it'd be good for insomniacs, but um, I think you get the idea by now. I just wanted to show that. Uh, I'm going to frog this back, and I am going to show the foundation. I'll do a separate video for the for this same cowl, but I'll just start off with the foundation double crochet just to show you that as an option. Um, there are some benefits to doing that versus the chain. Are you beginning to see the pattern now? We just worked a uh, front post and see how we're, we've developed a short column so far. And that's the front and the back is indeed sitting in the back, back post. So your front post double crochet your front posts and your back post double crochet your back posts and you just keep going until whenever until you're happy with the height um, or until you run out of yarn or whatever it's up to you um, it's entirely up to you however long you want to make your project some people with shorter necks want to make shorter cowls um, I kind of like a cowl that you know, that's long enough to reach my eyebrows. I just, I just, that's just the way I roll. Uh, I'm just untangling the on again. Um, so I, uh, um, that, that's why I said two skeins because if you, if you want, um, a really tall one, which I think, how tall was the one I made? Like 16 inches tall. And that took a couple hundred yards of the super bulky on this hook. Um, so just as a starting point, by that rationale, you could make a nice eight inch tall, uh, cowl with, with one skein, or well, with, uh, 100 yards or so, um, on this hook, and, uh, that's definitely long enough for most, most adult necks. Um, so we did a front, and we'll do a back, and I'm gonna end here. Uh, I'll do a separate video for that foundation double crochet and um, I'll put that up but you can see the pattern is starting already 
and it's a it's a nice quick quick project um, very pretty so that is our clear crocheted cowl and I'll stop here and catch you in the next video